Right, today I'm going to review um, um, Batman on the original Game Boy for you. Let's start the game. There we go. Batman now goes spinning around like a spinning fanny. Let me start the game. And as you can see, it's a Sunsoft game. Very popular, mate, for Nintendo games. So we start the game. This is a Game Boy version. And you get a nice little cutscene. Police officer, I've just heard. The Jack has sneaked into the Axis chemical factory. And as you can see, there you are. You got your bullets. And it's quite a good game. Graphics ain't too bad. One of the cool things about this game, um, the music. The music's very good on this game. One of, some of the best music in the uh, Nintendo games, just from the Batman games. I mean, the normal NES, um, Batman had fantastic music as well. Um, as you can see, I'm on level 1. You can shoot these blocks, get like a heart for health there, as you can see. And watch out. Oh, you feck. Have some of that. You'd be fat. And there uh, we keep going. And this kind of music's in full stereo because it's on a Game Boy. As you know, the original Game Boy has got full stereo sound. And this dot matrix screen. And watch out. And get curled. Very good. Been too bad so far. It gets harder. Why oh, you thick? Have some of that. What do you think you're doing shooting me? Peek off, you'd be fat. Yes, that's the way. Going. So as you could jump across all these to avoid the baddies. Now I've done level one. I like the music on this level. Very similar to the um, Nintendo version, but the la maps or the levels are a lot different. But it's based on the same game. On the Nintendo version, you can um, change your weapon, you can't on the Game Boy version. And the level design is a lot different. But it's still as fun as the Nintendo version, in my opinion. Um, not too bad of a game, to be honest. Um, it's quite difficult. But I mean, I've never completed it, but if I tried hard enough, I could. The Nintendo version of this game is rock solid. Especially when you get to the later levels, it's very hard. Um, very good. Nice little Game Boy game for you. If you got if you got the original Game Boy, I recommend getting this game because it's good to play on the buzz. You know what I mean? As you can see, and we get to stage one three. Another chemical factory zone. As you can see, it's got the nice sort of spinning effect. Don't worry about that noise. It's just a Yahoo mail message. Just ignore that. And if we keep going. Game. Don't know what all these special things are for, but still. As far as it tell you in the game's instructions, I never read the instructions of this game. It's easy enough to pack it in the air. I mean, it's A to jump, B to shoot, and the, and the directional pad to move. That's about all you need to know. Unless someone can tell me otherwise. And we keep going. If you can get to the end, I'll sort of moving platforms for you. Watch, watch your step. I'll be careful. Don't fall down. They take two shots to cut, and I'm dead. 
You fuck. So we keep going. Have some. You only go for the slightly different coloured blocks because I've normally got something new, like that thing. I wanted a heart really. Heart's the most important thing if you've got low energy. The energy's on the top right of the screen. And I've got no energy again. So I need, I need another heart to get my life back up. So, we keep... Oh, it would have to be an R. I don't want an R, I want an R. Oh, oh, you bastard. Anyway, you get the idea. Game, the Game Boy version of um, Batman, I give a 6 out of 10. Goodbye.